Greetings, this is Greg Bem, one of the SCC librarians. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate accessing and using American History Online, one of the info-based databases. First, start at the SCC library and click on the link to A to Z databases. That will take you to this page. Scroll on down to American History Online and click on the title to be taken into a new tab which will show you American History Online. This is an InfoBase database. If you've ever used InfoBase, you may see that this is similar or familiar in design to other databases. But remember, every InfoBase database has a separate layout and separate functions. From here, we have at the top of the screen the InfoBase bar. My research is on the top right. Clicking on that will allow you to create a free account with InfoBase to manage your research. Underneath, we have the title of the database and then the search bar. And then we can browse topic centers, which are based on several different major categories with sub categories beneath. We have curriculum tools that can help us learn how to do our research better. We have search options, which includes a link to an advanced search screen and a search history screen, and information about the sources that are included in this database. Beneath those, we have several sections. Down the center of the page, there are the featured primary sources, and we can click on the arrow to browse a variety of them. These will be refreshed on occasion, so they may look different to you than what you're seeing here. Featured maps and graphs, featured videos and slideshows, and featured people. On the right-hand side of the screen, we see different ways to browse the various resources in American History Online. And then, once again, in another format, we have the list of topic centers. Let's click on a topic center to see what it looks like. I'm going to click on African American History. Here is the page for African American History. The Topic Center pages have a list of subcategories in the middle of the screen, scrolling down. And then, very helpfully, there is a list of suggested research topics. If you're using this database to get basic information or foundational information or even just browse information to find a research topic, I highly recommend looking at the examples that they provide for you. On the right-hand side of the screen, there's some additional helpful links and resources, videos and slideshows related to African-American history, primary source documents, maps and charts, and even the timeline. All of these can be wonderful in supplementing your research. Let's go back to the main screen and Let's do a search on suffrage, just to show you how the search re results will work. As you can see, when I type in suffrage, I automatically get a couple of specific terms that I can use in this autocomplete section, including women's suffrage, which we already know about because it's a featured primary source, and also National American Women's Suffrage Association, or NASA. Let's just stick with the the basic suffrage search and click on the magnifying glass to search. When we do a search, we get a very unique search result screen in InfoBase. It's using a tab system to describe the different types of search results for this search. Many of the resources that you can see in InfoBase are the different articles that are available through the various sources that make up this database, often, different books and reference texts that you might often see different types of articles like definition articles as seen here. We also have primary sources, images, videos, timelines, and news. There's a lot in this database. If we go back to articles and just click on the first article, which is Women's Suffrage 1900 to 1920 from the Emergence of Modern America 3rd Edition, an encyclopedia entry. We can click on this and it will take us to the page. Now, what I like about 
Infobase is that they will highlight the keywords that we're searching for to make it easy to visually see where our search terms show up. And if our research and these sources that we're looking at is helpful. So you can always disable that highlighting by clicking the toggle for highlighting. I do want to point out that there are several tools at the top of the articles that you can use, including saving if you're logged in, printing, sharing, downloading, citation generator, which does include MLA, Chicago, and APA, and even a nice accessible read aloud tool. On the right hand side of the screen, you will see the information about this article and tags to describe how this article has been written and what content it's featuring. Scroll through the article to read it and at the very bottom you will get an access to a permalink which you can use in saving this article for your research. This concludes the basic overview of American History Online and Infobase database. If you have any questions at all, please reach out to the SCC librarians. We'd be happy to help. Thanks for watching and take care.